Let's do a different experiment now, using only one car model. This is the model we will use, and these are two small pieces of poster board with different dimensions. One is larger than the other. We will use the poster board to increase the size of the car's frontal area without changing the car's weight very much. Indeed, the weight of these cutouts, including the tape to attach them to the car, is less than 1% of the car's weight. We can use a simple hair dryer to generate the airflow that will push on the car model. First, let's test the car alone. As we turn on the hair dryer, the car gets pushed back. Let's mark the final location. Then, we attach the smaller cutouts to the front of the car. As we turn on the hair dryer, the car moves backward, a little farther than in the previous case. Let's mark this point as well. Now, we can replace the small cutouts with a bigger one. Let's turn on the hair dryer. You can see that the car goes back even farther. Why is that? Let's look at the front view of the three cases. As you can see here, the frontal area of the car gets larger as we had the cutouts. In the third case, the frontal area is the largest. This means that the air moving towards the car finds more material to push on compared to the car by itself. With a larger frontal area, a larger drag force is generated. The drag pushes the car back in the direction of the air and the greater the drag, the farther the car model will travel backwards. In a nutshell, larger frontal area leads to a larger drag force. We can now look at a different aspect. If we have two shapes with the same frontal area, will those generate the same drag force? Let's find that out. Here we have a small piece of poster board that will cover the front of the car without increasing its frontal area. If we turn on the hair dryer, the car will go backwards. And if we compare this result with the test we performed for the car by itself, we can see that without the cutout, the car will cover a smaller distance. This means that the car will experience less drag than the same model with a poster board on it. How does this happen? The reason is due to the shape of the car that the air encounters. When we attach the cutout, the air impacts against the wall instead of smoothly moving around the object. This greatly increases the pressure acting on the front of the car and causes the vehicle to experience more drag compared to the car by itself. Without the poster board, the car is more streamlined. The flow moves more smoothly and produces a lower pressure difference between the front and the back of the car, leading to lower drag. This is why sports cars have a small frontal area and are streamlined. They are designed in this way in order to reduce the drag acting on them.